Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Brenny from Cambridge Tech. So in our last video, we built a newsletter session of a web application in Django. So that section of a website was supposed to function such that if a user subscribes to a newsletter, that user gets a mail anytime we want to send out a message. Now in this particular video, you are going to look at an instance where the user is going to get a text message over here we have the application i'm just going to look at the back end of it and later on um, we can look at the front end in another video and here i have um, an application i'm using to cast my phone screen onto the computer so this is basically like me trying to use my phone and this by the way the application let's view so with let's view you can do exactly what I'm doing. Okay, this for demonstration purpose in order for us to see exactly what's happening. All right, so um, we would want to send a message or we would want to send, let me put this right over here. We would want to send um, a message. So let's say I have a name and let me use Brony over here. And the score for Brony is, um, 79 so when i click on save this gets saved into the database so as you can see you have brony 79 but just about now we are going to receive a text message over here based on the event that has happened over here so as you can see we have sent from twilio and we are going to use twilio for this particular exercise all right so let me open it up and if i'm to come here we see a bunch of messages um, I have over here. And when I open this up, these are um, the examples I did right in the morning. But just about now, we have congratulations. Okay, this particular message, congratulations, Bruni. Your score was 79 and you passed. All right, so this one example. And another example is, let's say, I'm going to type in John. And John's score is 40. And when I click on save, we are expecting a message shortly. All right, so we have the message popping up over here. And if we are to click on it and go and read, we see that, sorry, John, your score was 40. Try again next time. So that's basically what you are going to do. And this is similar to, let's say, sending a newsletter through the email. In this particular video, you are looking at it through a text message or an alert through SMS. So right over here, what I've done is I've created a project, a Django project, and I have it as SMS project. So I am going to create an app. And I'm just going to type in Python manage.py start app and i'm going to call this app dashboard all right so i have dashboard created over here we are going to work with everything over here but then let me go into my sms project folder and go into settings.py and i'm going to register the app over here so let me shrink this a little bit so in installed apps, I'm going to install or register the dashboard app. So I'm going to say dashboard dot apps dot capital dashboard and capital C config. So that's like a camel case notation over here as far as this configuration is concerned. And then um, I think that's just about it for now. So let's um run the server so i'll do python manage dot py run server all right and i'll click over here and i have this running good so we also want to have access to the admin session so i'm going to create um, a new terminal and i'm just going to migrate um our default auth and user model so i'll do um, python manage.py make migrations i don't think 
we've created any model so yes but then we can do python manage.py migrate and when we do migrate it is going to migrate all the default django models we have in here so i'm going to create a super user so that i can have access to the dashboard so i'm going to do python manage.py and i'll say create super user and for name i'm going to say admin um, email address i'll say admin at gmail.com then for password i'll say one two three four i'll type in the password again and i'll just accept over here so now i have this working so if i'm to do a forward slash admin like this i can now log in to admin and type in my password and we are good to go all right so we are almost halfway through now let's go into our dashboard um app folder and go into models so this is where everything is going to work out all right so i'm going to create a model and i'm going to call this model message and message is going to inherit from models dot model so this models was already imported and we are inheriting from it and grabbing a model because we want to create model over here so the model defines our database so the first thing we are going to type over here is going to be the name and the name is going to be models dot char field or character field whichever name you decide to call it and i'm going to set a max length which is mandatory when you are using char field 200 then i'll have um another column which is going to be score and this is going to be models dot and i'll say integer field and let me give a default of zero all right so what i can do over here is i can have a strange representation of everything running over here so i'll do um a def double underscore str double underscore and i'll pass in self over here and i would want to return um, self dot name all right so when i do this once again i need to migrate this model so i'll do python manage.py make migrations and if you are wondering what i'm doing i just clicked over here and i'm using the down and arrow keys over here so for migrations i'll do this and i'll once again be looking for migrate so i'll be going down and up and now i have migrates over here so it's simply python money.py migrate so now this model has been migrated now if i'm to come here and come and refresh this we are not going to see it here yet there's one thing left we just need to come into admin.py and inside admin.py i need to register this so i'm going to say admin.site.register and i would want to register the model but in order for me to register the model i need to first come over here and say from the current models i want to import the name of the model which is messages and it is message that i want to register over here so when i do this and come back here to come and refresh we have messages showing up over here now this is going to work and we can type in let's say the name is ken let me say kenneth and the score is like 200 and yes we have this over here but as you saw in the original video we had the score showing up over here and that's very simple to do all that we need to do is to create a class over here and i'm going to say message admin and message admin is going to inherit from this um admin over here so i'll say admin dot model admin and for admin dot model admin i'm going to say list list underscore display and that's going to be equal to a tuple or a list okay 
now this is going to take in the columns we have in our model so i have name and score over here and i'm going to put them in a strange so i'm going to say name comma and i'll have score so that i can show them inside the, there then the last thing i'll need to do is to copy this and pass it inside what i'm registering over there so when i refresh we now have the name and the score showing up over here i can add another one and let's say brony and brony score is 90. so when i save we have brony over here now as of now no message is being sent because we haven't implemented that part of the logic and that's exactly what we are going to do from here so in order to go about this uh, we need to have access to a third party application which is twilio so twilio so twilio as you can see over here it's uh, an api we can use to send messages and it, ha it has a lot of functionalities uh, even though messages is what you normally see people um, exploring over here um it is not too much expensive you need to pay one way or the other but then we can use a trial version for the purpose of this demonstration so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the console i'll leave this link in the description below and i'm already signed in over here and there's a trial balance i had while I was working over here so let me just log out first and then what i can do is i can try and sign up over here i'm going to click sign up and we just need to provide some basic information over here so i'm going to say my name is kenneth which of course that's my name first name and the last name is Bruni. And for this email address, I'm going to use bruni at st.ug.edu.gh. All right. And for password, it says we have to use um, at least 14 characters. So I'm going to type in my password over here. All right, so obviously what I need to do is to accept the terms and conditions. So I'll click on accept and I'll click on this to start the registration process. All right, so it says an email has been sent into my mail. So I'll just go into my mail. All right, so just about here, I have this Twilio mail sent over here. So I'll click on this and I'll just have to do this to um, proceed with the registration. This is activate your Twilio account. Please verify your email address. Your account will not be created until your email address is confirmed. So I can click on this or I can just copy this somewhere. So I'll just click on this. And yeah, so I need to type in my phone number over here. I am in Ghana, so I'm going to type in my phone number. But for security reasons, I'll blur it out. So I'll click on verify. And a token will be sent to me, which I'll be typing in here very soon. All right, so I have this token over here. And that's going to be... All right, so I'll click on submit. I'm being welcomed over here. All right, so there are some few questions over here you need to answer. It says, which products um, are you here to use? And there are quite a number of products over here, like I said. But then we are going to use the SMS. And it says, what do you plan to build with Twilio? And um, there are quite some few things over here. It says, alerts and notification all right then it says 
um how do you want to build Tulio? then i mean they are quite some options over here so with code with minimal code with no code so i'll say with code and it is asking which language do you prefer so over here you are using python source of django and how would you like um would you like to would you like Julio to host your code and for this one we are going to say no for now so we are going to go to get started and this is going to log us in all right All right, so over here we have um, some few things over here. So this is going to be the balance, okay? So this trial balance. Now, when you properly register, you deposit some cash, and anytime you s a message is sent um, using Twilio, uh, something is being deducted. But in this case, we have this, so we can use up to this amount. We have the account SID, we have the auth token, and these are all for security purposes and. We are going to include them in our code. So right here, we are going to click on read quick, uh, quick start documents. And just about here, since you are working with Python, Django, we are going to click on Python over here. All right. So this is what we need as far as the implementation of the logic is concerned. And we'll come here into models.py. So what i'm going to do is i'm going to overwrite this um save method over here as far as the score is concerned so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say a def and call this save and this save is going to take in self and ask and keyword arguments like we always do and this is going to return return super dot save and we are going to pass in the axe and the keyword argument all right so um let me change this so inside this save method i'm going to say if self Okay, so the score is greater than or equal to 70. And that's a threshold I made mention of. If self the score is greater than or equal to 70, then we would want to override the save method and send a message as well. So in order to proceed, what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to come and grab this. So I'll do a control C over here and bring it just over here and save this. Now we are going to clean things up a little bit because as you can see we need to follow our indentation and let me just put this over here all right so let me put this right over here all right then we have some few things we need to sort out so there's an import we need to work with so we have to import os and we also have to import um chilio dot rest um we want to import clients so we'll come here and paste this over here now i've already handled um, most of the things i need to handle as far as this setup is concerned let me clean this up over here and bring this right just about here good so this is what is happening we've imported os we actually don't need os um based on the modification we are going to look at and we are saying from trilio.rest we want to import client and this client method is handling the sending of the message over here because it is within client that we want to send the message and these are the parameters we pass in here all right so we need the account sid and the auth token and that's what i was trying to show you earlier on so if I should come back, there's an account SID. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it over here. But we are using, um, or by default, it is expecting us to use environment variables over here. And that's probably um, the most prudent thing to do. 
but in this particular video we are just going to paste it over here in other videos i'll show you how to use the environment variables so that this um account sid will be hidden then the next thing we want to do is to look at the auth token so i'm going to copy this once again and i'll clear this and put it in a strange so there's an auth token and we actually don't need os to start with all right so one other thing we definitely need is to install twilio so we definitely have to do pip install and we just have to do pip install twilio now i already have it installed so it is definitely going to prompt me that requirement already satisfied as you can see over here so if this is going to be your first time you definitely need to install twilio so when i do pip list it is definitely going to list all the packages i have installed and right about here i think we have twilio showing up over here all right so we are good to go so you need to install it before from twilio.rest import client is actually going to work so this is um we are halfway through now we come to the body of the message what do we want to send okay and the message that we want to send is definitely um we are putting it in a formatted strange so what i'm going to say is congratulations congratulations and i want to grab the name over here okay so the name is going to be self dot name okay so congratulations let's say ken you scored your score is okay so your score is and i'm going to put out the score over here and also i'm going to say solve the score all right so that we grab it dynamically now we need to pass in other two parameters over here that's the from and the two so this is the number from which we are sending and this is the number to which we want to send the message to now in order to make this work we also need to come in here and grab a trial number so as you can see over i say get a trial phone number so i'm going to click on this and as you can see it gives us a trial phone number and i can say choose this number and once i say choose this number i now have to copy this number over here so i'll say Control c and i'll replace this from number with the trial number i just choose now this two over here is definitely going to be my phone number okay or the number i want to send the message to so i'm going to type in my number over here all right so we are saying that if the score is greater than or equal to 70 then we are going to pass this message congratulations whichever name we added over there your score is um 70 okay or whichever score we had and we are also going to put an else statement over here so else we also want to have um yeah else we want to have this control c and i'm just going to paste this over here and yeah so else we are going to say sorry your score is and i'll say try again all right so let's just indent this because this has shifted so now let's test this app so i'm going to open my phone screen alongside so i'll launch the application as you can see over here and all right so this is my phone screen as you can see and let me put it somewhere here all right and okay i think i have a message okay this message is the verification all right so let's go back into our application and now let's add a message so this time around let's add 
let's add this name gift and gift score is 90. so when i save this it's going to get saved into the application and let's wait for the message it may take some few seconds but it will definitely come so as you can see we have this showing up over here so if i'm to open it up i have this sent from your account i mean your trial account congratulations gifty your score is 90 so that's exactly what we wanted to see over here and let's try another one and let's say i'm going to use a name kwame and kwame had let's say 69 okay 69 is just below 70 and if i'm to save this now kwame is saved into the database and the message is going to pop up as we can see over here so it says so the message reads um sorry kwame okay sorry kwame your um your score is 69 try again all right so this is basically what we wanted to do as far as this application is concerned now if you like this video there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambrotech and don't forget to smash the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at cambrotech we say learn programming you can do it i'm definitely going to link up the materials and the applications i use in order to make this video is success. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.